week on Exposé Afrique, we are graced by the presence of the Director of Project of the Ministry of Tourism here in Ghana. The Ministry of Tourism has endorsed Exposé Afrique. We later launch and experience Ghana in the palm of Accra City Hotel after they have been adjourned the Hotel of the Year. Later, communications and media practitioner Veronica joins Cassandra for a drink. Welcome to another fun edition of Exposé Afrique. Today we are graced with the presence of the Director of Projects Ministry of Tourism, Ghana. He is going to be telling us more about what the ministry's um, plan is for um, the tourism industry going forward. You're welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much, Sandra. Thank you very much for allowing us into your space. We know you're a busy man, but um, yeah, you accommodated us. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, and I think it's a pleasure to be on Exposé Africa. Oh, wow. So tell us, uh, what has been your achievement to tourism in Ghana and Africa as a whole? Personal achievement or the... Personal uh, achievement, the, uh, ministry achievement. Well, the ministry for uh, over the years have been promoting Ghana as a major tourist destination. In fact, as a preferred tourist destination in Africa. And I must say that uh, we've... Ghana has won several awards, both in an in international you know, platform. We've been voted as the best uh, preferred destinations in Africa in the year 2012, 2013, 2014. We've also been acknowledged as uh, we serve on the Executive Council of the World, United Nations World Tourism Organization. Currently, my minister is serving, serving on the executive board. Oh, what? So you don't only serve Ghana, but Africa as a whole? Absolutely. Oh, and wow. we are also being used by the UNWTO okay. to, in terms of reviewing their documents for them. I've been sent by UNWTO to Sierra Leone to prepare a mission statement and to help them prepare a total development plan Wow. You know, for them. Now, what would you say um, the tourism industry 10 years ago looked like compared to now? I must say that uh, Ghana has been endowed with so many resources. Yes. Considering the natural resources in terms of the, our forests, our flora and fauna, our cultural resources, looking at our festivals, our traditions, our values, our customs, the food we eat, the music and all that. You also look at the environmental resources like our water bodies. And uh, Having said that, Ghana, we are the, we are consider ourselves as a hospitable people. Yeah. In Africa and throughout the world. Yeah. But it, we are not a traditional tourist destination because okay. uh, every, all the year, over the years since independence, we, and even colonial times, we were talking about the gold. Mm -hmm. So we used to be called the Gold Coast. Yes. Then we talk about the cocoa. Mm. Then we talk about the timber. Yeah. So we've been following or developing or growing the traditional you know, products. Products. Until 1983, 1983, 6 when we were entered into the structural adjustment program. Okay. And then government, then government decided that, look, let us look at the economy again in terms okay. of uh, the structural adjustment policy. And therefore, emphasis were played on what we call the non-traditional uh, exports. Oh, right. And tourism became a priority sector. Yeah. That's one of the key areas that government concentrated on. That doesn't mean that post independent, we didn't look at tourism. Kwame Nkrumah started it with the state hotels, corporations, with the catering uh, rest houses, with the development of the Bullock Botanical Garden. Yeah. But the conscious effort was made, in the, as I said, in the mid 1980s. Okay. That's where serious attention was given, was to, given tourism, to tourism. To tourism. about the development plan of Ghana. I have personally seen it and I think it's brilliant. Does it mean that everything that has happened in Ghana so far in terms of um, as far as tourism is concerned has been planned for before now? Yeah, tourism like any other sector like the oil and gas industry like manufacturing you must plan for it. Yeah. And for us in Ghana we have a 10 year development plan. No, a 15-year development plan, I must say, okay. 2023 to 2027. 
2013 yeah. to 2027. Yes, yes. Right. And this has is, is the guideline okay. for developing tourism in okay. Ghana. Okay. It talks about the products development, it talks about marketing, it talks about training in terms of human resource and capacity building. It talks about research that needs to be carried out. Mm. And above all, it's got a five-year action plan that gives a focus. So all the projects, all the things that we're doing, both in the public and guiding the private sector, are all in here. Mm. And besides that, it also serves as educational material mm. for mm -hmm. the universities offering uh, tourism and hospitality courses. Okay. So by the time the students come out, they really understand, understand. the industry. And all over the world, if you look at the first tourist destinations across yeah. the world, like Spain, like France, like Italy, it's a conscious, it's a plan. Effort. It's a plan. It must be planned. Okay. And then all the other sectors of the economy must be linked to it. So there is always a forward and backward linkage. Mm. You look at your agricultural sector. How mm. does the agricultural sector feed into tourism? Because you get people to visit a place, right? And the tourism is the only place where we call it an export commodity. But you don't export it, but people come and consume it. Yes. So when people visit your country as tourists, whether domestic or international, they would like to eat what you produce. Of course. So the agricultural sector must be linked to what people want to eat. Want to eat, okay. Right. You must look at your transportation sector yes, because people true. need to move from one place to another place. Either by air or by road or by sea. Very true. You have to look at where people sleep. That's where the accommodation comes in. Yes. People come here for businesses. It's part of tourism. That is business tourism. Yeah. People come for leisure. They would like to stay. They would like to visit places. They would like to go to the beach. You have to improve upon the beaches. Yes. So yes. that's why we, for the first time in fact, Ghana was the first country in Africa to have a tourism master plan. Okay. That was in 1996 from to up to, 90, uh, to 2010. Okay. When I was in South Africa, there was a time that um, there was a speech going on by, I think, their trade minister. And he was saying there are two destinations in the world where the people are very hospitable. And he spoke about Tanzania, Tanzania and talked about Ghana. And I was very, very excited because people know us for our hospitality. Absolutely. And you see, it, it is not something that uh, we just do it. Mm. It is God giving. Okay. And I always continue to say to people. Because you take even from before independence, yeah. Ghana had, or after independence, Ghana had been on the forefront. Yeah. Right from Kwame Nkrumah, Ghana was the home for all the African countries south of the Sahara who became independent. Yes. So we led the forefront. And we've opened our doors to everybody who comes here. Even they are told, you eat and leave somewhere at home and <laughs> that who, maybe you get a visitor. Yeah, yeah. And I see, I've traveled in fact, to many places over the world. Ghana is one, in fact, the only place where you go to somebody's house. And whether you are invited, food. you are giving food. You are invited true. or not invited. <laughs> you, they say, no, They're sit down, food. you pull a chair, then there, you eat. There are some countries that will say, you did, not, you did not call before, so no. you have no food, you have no water. <laughs> so obviously, in Ghana, we are being a Yes, yes, yes very so true. The way we live in, sometimes somebody asks you, where is this place? You say, let me take you there, rather than very, go and go and go and so that's like um, a God-given gift to us. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Lovely people. There are a lot of activities going on. There are a lot of plans from the Ministry of Tourism for the youth of this country. Obviously, they're trying to get everybody to, to be interested in our hospitality industry and the tourism industry as a whole. Africa!